I think we are ready. We are on. Welcome everyone to this new chapter of the Shining Cosaedrum Great Order. I am Maratura, the uh, priestess of the order. And today we are with Vinicius. Yeah, I said right. Hello. Yes. Um, <laughs> RPG Next podcast and our acolyte Fobo. Welcome, Vinicius. Thank you so much Hello. for coming. How are you? Oh, thank you. I'm my name for for those uh, who are watching is Vinicius Vazzo. I'm from Brazil and uh, I'm part of the RPG Next group. We have some podcasts, lives, mainly on YouTube, but some on Twitch as well. And um, we basically play RPGs and record podcasts and edit them and uh, release them as edited uh, RPG uh, stories. But unfortunately, unfortunately, as for now, only in Portuguese. So unfortunately, they're very good. I found your uh, podcast on Spotify. Mm -hmm. I was looking for something to hear in Portuguese and I found it and it was very exciting because it's the mixture of Portuguese that I'm practicing and role that we all love. <laughs> oh, yes. But before we merge into RPG Next, tell us a little bit about yourself. Before we started, you were mentioning where you're from, what you do, but share oh. it with the audience. Where are oh, you from? Okay. What do you do? What's well, your role experience? <laughs> oh, I'm from the old guard. I I started playing, it was, I believe, 1994, 1993. And, uh, but uh, long before that, uh, when I was a child, there was um, a book collection in Portuguese. It is called Coleção Você Manda. It was from the early 80s. I was like five or five to ten years old. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it was like a choose your own adventure book. You, you would uh, do, thing, do this, go to page something. Oh, yes. If you want to do this, yeah, the, this kind of game. And I was fascinated back then. I, I, I always, I, I already liked to read a lot since uh, a little child. And uh, when I got a book that uh, I could change the story, it, was, it blew my mind. <laughs> I was, come on, this is amazing. And uh, I didn't see anything like it until uh, the early 90s when um, here in Brazil, people released the the aventuras fantásticas that uh, there are translation from the fighting fantasy rpgs from steve jackson and uh -huh. ian Livingston, uh the 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 other steve jackson so um i i was fascinated and uh, i started role playing uh, in this system and uh it, this in 1994 i believe and then, uh, right about that time, uh, Devir Livraria uh, released GURPS in Portuguese in Brazil. So okay. uh, the the author's name is Steve Jackson, and I, I, at the time I thought it was the same Steve Jackson, uh, but they are two different people. Uh, one is English and the other is American. There are two Steve Jacksons from Fighting Fantasy and uh -huh. from GURPS. There are two Gerbs. different guys. <laughs> and then uh, I bought GURPS and uh, I've been fascinated with it since then. It's been, what, almost 30 years. Come on. Almost 30 years. <laughs> and you've been playing role since then until now? Yes, uh, sporadically uh, throughout my adolescence when uh, I used to have a lot more free time. we. Oh, you used to have you. You were recently <laughs> adolescent yourselves from how you look. And uh, I believe you ha used to have more time, more free time to play. I, when I was an adolescent, I, I used to have a lot of free time and uh, we played a yeah. lot. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I started um, the, um, I started the medicine Faculty, the medicine, medicine university. I'm a, I'm, a phys, I'm a physician nowadays. Mm -hmm. I grad I graduated in 2000 and uh, and then specialized in ophthalmology. 
but haven't yeah but have <clears throat> but haven't stopped playing rpg games since then that's amazing. Do you ever mix what you know as your career with role? Like when you're playing? <laughs> like uh, medical knowledge, you, yeah. you mean? It depends. It's, it's usually not uh, conductive to my specific field of knowledge. But uh, there was one adventure on RPG Next that. Um, uh, the game master uh, tried to create an adventure in which the players were uh, uh, when, when the characters were the players. So I oh, was okay. playing myself and uh, in a crazy setting and things <laughs> like that. And uh, <laughs> I thought, come on, what can I take that will do the the most uh, fabulous thing in a fantasy setting and then i i brought with myself uh, an ophthalmoscope that's an uh, a device <laughs> that we use to look into inside people's eyes yeah it's basically it's, it's basically a lantern but a very heavy lantern so i used it at, as a lantern, I used this as a torch, <laughs> I used it as a hammer, and uh, like that. in adventure, in adventure. Right. <laughs> it was very funny. That's but uh, uh, then uh, I, I've been through, throughout my, my university years playing now and then. And uh, I, I used mainly to play uh, alone uh, with my friends uh, uh, in, in uh, presencial. How do I say this in English? Uh, face to face or? Face to face, face to face. Play face to face in a group, like a mm -hmm. tabletop. Yeah. And, uh, but life happens and uh, people get yeah. married, they work and they and they we have more and more difficulty uh to play mm. what we like to play so uh after some time uh I, i'm not sure if you know there is a a guy in in brazil called jovem nerd he's very famous and uh he made uh an rpg podcast Mm -hmm. uh, like the ones from we do from uh, RPG Next, it it was absurdly famous and and uh, uh, the creator of RPG Next, Rafael, uh, decided that he wanted to do something similar, and he started creating. I didn't know Rafael back then. He's from okay. another state. Uh, oh. Yes, <laughs> most most people for, from RPG Next, I've never met face to face. I only met face to face. I believe two people. Two hey, people very from the group. Though. We uh, Brazil is a continental country, so people live very far away from one another. Yeah. But the, but then uh, Rafael was uh, he created this, this podcast, and after I, I heard, I listened to the Jovenet podcast with the rpg session i started to looking for come on i, I want more of this but <laughs> they, they do once they do one each year so uh, it, it is yeah. it's usually famous mm -hmm. and uh yeah, they get a lot of money they recently made a, a kickstarter for one of the games they played and they gathered something around six million guys. Wow! That, wow! Yes, they're they're big, big. <laughs> so sounds like it. We on RPG Next are not nearly that that big, but <laughs> we 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 may sometime be. Yeah, so, we're going to be. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Me too. So, how did RPGs? Well, that's how it started. But when mm -hmm. did RPG started? RPG yes, next. they. Uh, I joined the group in the very beginning, not the the initial adventure. Yes, the, it was initial adventure, but not in the in the very beginning. 
the they were all playing the Lost Minds of Fandelver, uh, Rafael and some of other members. And as I listened to this, I I noticed that they had uh, a Patreon. It was in Padrinho in, in, Port, mm -hmm. in the site Padrinho in Brazil. Oh, okay. And uh, I I noticed that they had a tier that if you paid a certain amount, you could um, join and uh, play a little bit with them. I said, oh come on, this is money I can I can spend. <laughs> so I I spent this money and uh, I wanted to to play with them and um, initially I was uh, an NPC and um, <laughs> it was ridiculously funny and uh, Rafael has a very quick mind and he told me that I would uh, try to I should try to role play a druid but uh, a somewhat crazy druid and that uh, was high and uh, was somewhat disconnected with things. And I believe I, I played it in a way that uh, they found hilarious. And then sometimes later, I was invited to join. That was my goal initially, to join them. <laughs> and the plan <laughs> succeeded. Yes. And this game that you played is that something we can listen to? Is it recorded? Somewhere? Yes, it's it's in in podcast format. Uh, let me see if I can find my my first participation there. Let me get it here. The chat says that you are the man of the thousand voices. Has that? Yes, because I I can do voices uh, easily, and um, I wonder how would Rodolfo, the name of the druid, would sound in English. Maybe I'll I'll try it right now. Let me see. Um, so, for someone who are on RPG Next that huh, is listening to this. Huh, you see, this is Rodolfo in, in English. I'm not sure if it's the same, but that's it. <laughs> and many, many other voices and stuff. Okay. And uh, when I, I made... So cool. What? It's so cool, your ability. Yeah. Your... yeah, yeah, yeah. Your skill. Yeah, I, <laughs> yes, the, the, the next, the, the last... Um, the last adventure that I, I've been into it was Storm King's Thunder, and I was a uh, halfling. I'm not to speak like this. <laughs> there was a very nice hobbit, not hobbit, hobbits, a trademark. He was a halfling, halfling sorcerer. <laughs> That's so good. Actually, yeah, you're really good, man. Having the ability of, of making so many voices is so amazing and so useful for. for role-playing games you have a, a fan in the chat that is uh oh. talking about how enjoyable listening to you guys is especially your oh. voices <laughs> uh, the the main thing that I, I i like a lot on on rpg next is that uh, the editing makes it so much better and uh oh i think i found it uh I'll, 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 I'll get you your link. Uh, it's a YouTube link, but you can find it on Spotify and, and things like that. Uh, okay. Can I can I can I get it to where I'll, I'll, I'll get to you in WhatsApp. OK, all right. I'll share it with our stream master so he can okay. put it here. Ready. So I'm the monkey guide. The thing, the thing that uh, I was playing with Rodolfo, and uh, he was, oh, oh, you do something. Blah, blah, blah. And then uh, I turned into a monkey. And the moment I turned to a monkey, I changed the voice into a voice of a monkey, and they lost it. They started laughing uncontrollably, and that's <laughs> the moment I know I got the role. <laughs> so Rodolfo was like that, and then he turns into a monkey, and Come on! Do you understand what I'm talking about? 
something like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some the same person is Arconax. I I I think the it's a fan of of you or of your a uh, program or maybe one of your. Uh, um, I don't know the word uh, associates, uh, associates, partners, partners. Yeah, partners. Mm -hmm. Arconax uh, already said that the group needs to stop the record for a few minutes to stop laughing. <laughs> 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 yes, it was very funny at the time, very interesting. And <laughs> um, at uh, at that time, from uh, when I I joined. Uh, I was playing with my my group then, mm -hmm. uh, an uh, presentation, uh, a face-to-face -face RPG, with uh, I, an universe within a universe that I created, and uh, I was writing a book and things like this, and uh, I intended to oh, I, I will promote my book on RPG Next, and uh, it eventually happened, and I even uh, role played uh, some. Uh, some adventures there uh, within the setting of my book. Oh, that's amazing. Huh. So you are not only a player, you are also a chronicle. I'm sorry, I'm a player and a and writer. A master? Oh, writer. yes, yeah. I, 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 I'm a writer and I, I'm a game master and a physician and a player <laughs> and things like this. <laughs> And I'm the leader of the project now. I'm the leader of RPG Next now. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. That's, I that's am a lot everything. of work. Yes. <laughs> that's a lot of things to do. Yes. So you were mentioning you have other partners with RPG Next. How many people is in the project? And what's, well, you said that you're the leader. But what's the <clears throat> position that you have or other positions that, how do well, you divide the work? Well, mainly uh, what I do, uh, I try to coordinate people uh, if they come, uh, should we do this or should we do that? Uh, I think about it and uh, you should go this way. Mm -hmm. And uh, and if people come uh, without, how should we respond to this? How should we respond to that? And this is the part of the leader role. But uh, I also uh, write and, and create my own adventures. Uh, I do not use pre-made um, pre pre adventures. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I write my own. Oh. And, and um, I play <coughs> I play some adventures that are, are, are happening. Uh, 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 now I am playing as a barbarian um, in Curse of Strad, the oh, the adventure. Uh -huh. yeah. And he he started into another intro, introductory adventure as a, a, a sort of a womanizer barbar, barbarian, <laughs> and then he evolved as a character. It was a very interesting role to play. What are, uh, for the people who doesn't know about your project, because it's in, uh, in Portuguese, Portuguese. Uh, what, what, uh, what kind of content we can um, uh, expect, expect for you? Yeah, thanks. There are, we have uh, the podcasts, that, that is our main focus. Mm -hmm. We have lives on YouTube. Uh, they are generally weekly lives sometimes two lives per week sometimes one time one life per week with multiple people uh i'm not in all of them there are many other people who are playing and doing things and and uh we have some uh, written texts uh that uh were being generated we have some uh Contos uh, narrados. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, like an audio drama, okay. But okay. it's not it's not like a role playing. Uh, the it's written content that that is performed by some of us and uh, edited into podcast format. 
And we have uh, a project within RPG Next that it's called Guerreiros do Bem. It works like it works like this. Uh, the podcast is maintained through donations from okay. our our padrinhos. Okay, from it's a kind of Patreon in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Oh. And, and uh, those donations, uh, the money that's not spent into generating content and uh, paying for server infrastructure, those, those things, okay? Mm -hmm. It is entirely donated to charitable foundations. So if some, uh, some people need uh, diapers or milk or or cleaning materials whatever we contact them and we donate uh all of the money that is not used in the maintenance of the project mm -hmm. so oh, wow. it it adds not only to uh help people in escaping realities but uh it helps people stay in reality in in a sense yeah yeah using the fantasy to to change the reality well yes. you earlier mentioned that you might you are not as big as these uh other podcasts that you saw for the first time or heard for the first time but i honestly think that what you're doing is even bigger maybe okay. not with so many fans but doing that helping and using not role playing games not only for you and your entertainment but others and helping i think that's that's bigger <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, thank you. <laughs> we try to. And uh, this interview today is very important and interesting to me personally, because I, I would love to see RPG Next branch into some international audience. And uh, this makes it po somewhat possible. Yes, of I, course. I that we, and, want uh, we want that. We want to know... We want your perspective because we don't know like nothing about RPG games uh, in Brazil. So mm -hmm. uh, having you here, uh, it's huge for us to. Oh, thank you. Uh, RPG games used to be enormously big in Brazil <laughs> when we started. And uh, then uh, there were like the witch hunt that happens in the US in a yeah. smaller scale here in the late 90s but then uh, it returned uh, very strongly mainly after Jovem Nerd uh, played the Nerd Cash RPG mm -hmm. the, and uh, it really exploded so we have many, many people now that play, many people now that listen to RPG being played, many people to listen to podcasts. And uh, this uh, makes me very happy because uh, I, I have a, a kind of a big audience. And uh, sometimes we receive uh, notes and mails from people that... Uh, express their gratitude uh, uh, for what we created that helped them in in their lives people who are fighting depression people who are having trouble and they they say that uh, when they were listening to us they they had uh, a great time and it helped them recover helped them get better this is amazing when when we receive an, an email or, or a message like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, you see your, your, the value of your work, like in materializing, yeah? Yeah, materialized. Yeah, Mater you, you see a result, a specific result. I have a question. I'm not sure if you would know the answer because you mentioned that you weren't at the beginning of the project. Mm -hmm. Do you know why RPG Nets? Why that name? If I'm not if I'm not wrong, and Rafael may correct me, they were uh, brainstorming names, and there was uh, D and D next at at the time back then, mm -hmm. and they oh let's go RPG next. The name of the 
the podcast is called Tahashki na Bota. It's a uh, mm. rask in, inside the boot. And uh, it, wa- it happened during the test adventures. Uh, like uh, they were talking and joking and they say, oh, come on. There's a boot uh, uh, behind that bush and uh, there will be a Tahask in there. <laughs> and absurd. And then it, it became Tahask na Bota. The name of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so you have different names for different parts of the project? Yes, RPG yeah. Nexus RPG Nexus the, the project. Mm-hmm. And there are each part has uh, an individuality. For oh, for example, okay. Tahashki na Bota is the main podcast with uh role played uh role played uh sessions, role playing sessions that are that happen in live and then uh, some of them happen live and then are edited into a podcast format oh, okay we so have people... mm. i'm sorry so people could nope. listen to you play like while you're playing and we can yes. also listen the edited version yes if you go to the our youtube channel you can see us playing and that uh, the YouTube records what what happened, but it's uh, a somewhat uh, a cruder experience because there is so oh, how much does this damage and then then that right. uh, and things like this that happens in all RPGs. And after we edit, uh, we we get out most of this and uh, focus on the <coughs> on the role playing aspect. And uh, we use uh, copyright-free music and mm. sound effect in order to create an immersion for the listener. And uh, I'm happy to say that um, many of our users are blind people who use this, we use our podcast because they say we are uh, we describe very well what's happening, so they can get their minds inside the adventure even though they can't see because it's an audio an audio stuff and no one can see so it's the same for them as for anyone else well that's amazing someone in the audience in chat wants to know if you play mostly D. at the project uh most people like D. i myself play D D but i game master gurps and i prefer to play gurps because it's the thing i like most i'm the gurps guy there so <laughs> but the, there are uh, we have uh, mostly dnd fantasy games but there are, we have some adventures that are not only fantasy there we have some horror adventures uh the one that's based on my scenario, that's a mixture of uh, fantasy and science fiction. And uh, we have some specials, science fiction, some some specials in Matrix and uh, things things like that. And uh, many genres, but uh, the main focus, because most people who create the adventures are D&D masters, yeah. is D&D. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was talking about the programs. We have Tahaski na Bota, that's right. the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have the Contos Narrados, that's the the one uh, I told about that uh, is from uh, someone writes a text and uh, we get the text, we adapt it into a script and we record that script and we add sound, sound effects, music, and everything that's needed to create uh, like a, an an audio an audio book an audio novella something like this mm-hmm. we have uh, a forge with the, the with which is uh, a program where we make a little bit of everything we interview people we we go and say oh how did we create this specific adventure how Everything happens. So when we enter a campaign, we make a, a forge 
uh, from the campaign and people talk, oh, I, I remember this happened. What was that? And uh, I can say, oh, this was this, that was that. And people who, who played Are adventure, mm -hmm. yes, have a, a, a somewhat in-depth uh, understanding of what, what it is. We have the Guerreiros do Bem that uh, I talked about. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. What else? We have the texts that doesn't have a, a specific name, but the, the they were being published weekly at the site. People, authors who would uh, like to write stuff and have it published can write, uh, join the group of writers. They well. help each other out. Uh, they have a, a very active group and uh, the text, uh, someone submits a text, all the other uh, the other people read, revise, and they talk about it. And uh, after it's okay, it's published in the site. Ooh. We Sounds yes. really interesting for you. Yes, it's good if you aspire to become a, an author in, in something. Right. You have people who are like-minded individuals that mm -hmm. can help you realize this dream. So it's a very interesting thing. What else do we have? Um, oh, we have some uh, some many uh, fan art that uh, yeah. that's in the in Pinterest because the our characters from our RPGs inspire many many people to create fan art for us. And uh, if you search in Pinterest RPG Next, you see. Uh, amazing artists that have created many amazing art pieces based on, on our you IPs. Yes, wow. yes. Very, very nice, very nice. You what else? <laughs> oh? How do you feel about it? Oh, it's amazing. Come on. I, I have, uh, I have uh, <laughs> a, a few of my characters, the characters that I created and when I receive a fan art of it, come on, this is amazing. I can't create art like that. I'm not a, a very good uh, artist, but in, in drawing, uh, but uh, and uh, when I when I see what people think, how they imagine, it's just amazing. It's very, very, very nice. Have you ever found uh, an artwork that you say? That wasn't what I imagined, but I, but I like it, or I would change it, or I would like to add this thing that the person draw to my character. Yes, uh, there are sometimes arts that are not what I had envisioned, but that have some interesting detail here or there that uh, can be incorporated into the character. The thing is, most people uh it it's rare for people to be listening to the podcasts while they're being made so we receive art from things that we made years ago and uh it's amazing but there's nothing we can do about it to insert <laughs> right. it the the podcast because it was recorded already so it, it's done yeah but we we always ask them come on people keep them coming keep them coming we we'll, <laughs> we love them <laughs> What the, amazing. Yeah, the, I have a question. I, I don't know if it's a serious question, but I, I, I think it's a great question. Uh, why do you think Brazil is growing that much on RPGs? Brazil? Brazilians are amazing people, really. And uh, I, not because I'm Brazilian, but I, I think the, the people have uh, some um, innate, uh, how do I say it in English? It's like, uh, it's not possible to say it in English, but uh, <laughs> é, a malemolência, o jeito do brasileiro, sabe? Aquela coisa, this, like, uh, come on, yeah, there's let's no do word. this. There's no <laughs> word for malemolência <laughs> in English, but... Uh, okay. And uh, we create things that um, are even without we, even with all the difficulties that pervades the Brazilian market because our governments are terrible 
have been terrible forever and are being terrible for many years to come. Uh, I'm not sure if you, you, you guys live in, in Mexico, right? Yeah. If, if it's somewhat similar to this, but um, corrupt yes. politicians create trouble for everyone and RPGs are a, um, a low priority thing. But because people have to eat, people have to to go to school, people have to pay rent, and and uh, most people in Brazil, uh, because of mis the not misdemeanors, misdemeanors a crime. It's like um, mishandling of public money. Uh, oh, have uh, uh, have little possibility to enjoy uh, some hobbies and RPGs unfortunately in Brazil especially are a very expensive hobby yeah but, we heard that yeah. because of the paper mainly not only paper it's a combination of paper, greed, taxes and uh, <laughs> many things that go into it and Creates uh, a whirlwind that uh, makes it very, very costly to, to enjoy hobbies that not mm. that are not watching football or seeing soap operas. Because um, people here, I'm not sure how things are in your countries, in your country, but people here read very little, not because they they yeah, don't similar. like it but yeah, because course. it's very difficult for people to read mm -hmm. and uh, it impairs many things but i i believe the podcast format in, in as much as it is free and uh it uh, requires less uh, effort yeah. to get into it helps people spark their imagination and perhaps someone who would have no other possibility of uh, creating and knowing and making something amazing in their heads we have this possibility because they heard a podcast they listened to it and oh come on these guys can do it let me see if I can do something like it yeah and we have some amazing podcasts some some people here our our friends they they had appeared they have appeared in a RPG Next from uh, Quest Cast that's another podcast Dado Viciado another podcast RPG Guacha another podcast and there are many many uh, uh, Beholder Cego there there are many many people here that um, had part have participated with with us in some events and some adventures. And uh, I believe, all in all, we are creating an environment that will help spark creativity and um, intelligence in the young people mainly. Mm -hmm. you know. I, for example, I have a question. You mentioned Contos Narrados, the translation mm -hmm. it's uh, narrated short stories. Um, for those you mentioned that someone writes a short story, and all together, you create a script for a uh, podcast. Those short stories are created by the team of RPG Next, where other people can send their stories. Other people can send their stories. But what happens? Uh, in order to create some contos narrados, we have to have uh, a very specific... Uh, way of telling the story uh the latest we have been doing it was from a member from our rpg nest that was create the writing the the stories based on the adventure he was playing with some of our patrons but life oh. happens he has had a baby and uh, he's moving from one place to the other and things and he he doesn't have the time to do this anymore especially because none of us receive anything monetarily from for what we do 
we we see we get no money uh, from this the, the donations as i said go to guerreiro do bem the only time we do get money is uh, if people uh choose to advertise with us we do advertisements and uh okay. if you your audience there's someone who is interested in advertising some product some idea something on mm -hmm. rpg next we have we have just recently reached three million views uh from our, wow. our stuff and uh it's it's kind of a benchmark and uh like they say there there's a long tail so people who listen for something now uh three four years from now if you advertise you still be being listened by new potential customers so it's yeah. interesting yeah yeah <laughs> all right how, how do you when uh how do you start with the project i mean what was the um the park for you to to, to, for you guys to say, I want to do this. I didn't understand the question. I'm sorry. Can um, you repeat it? I mean, when, maybe, I, I asking, <laughs> uh, when do you um, plan your project? I mean, you are in your home and you, you just oh, say, yes, yes. I want to do we this. Do it, <laughs> yes, we do it at home. Uh, we have some meetings. And we talk to everyone else, and we have some private groups on WhatsApp and other messaging services that we talk about. Oh, come on, wh where will the project grow go from today onward? We do this or that. What do we have to do? What are we missing? And uh, <coughs> it's but it's uh somewhat organized but mainly what we need is people who want to work if you are interested if you are esforçado in english how do i say this uh, that you work hard or that you make an effort yes if you if you put your if, if you are willing to put an effort mm -hmm. then RPG Next may be for you because uh, we have uh, an opportunity. Anyone can join. They just have to apply of uh, a proposal what they want to do. Okay. N know that uh, what they do will become property of the project. Of course. But uh, and they will not be compensated. Because there's no compensation. There, there's not no financial compensation. But. Mm -hmm. It is like uh, a shopping a shopping glass where you can show your stuff to the world, yeah. and uh, people will see. Oh, come on, Vinicius, he does this book. Oh, I like it. Uh, so I'll buy more books from him. Uh, Rafael, Rafael right. is doing that, and he I'll buy his stuff and things like this or if you if you are an advertiser i want to advertise my coffee brand into the podcast so we, we, within the show say oh this coffee is great and we <laughs> we like it <laughs> the in character like a, some merchandising do you have a new uh, projects uh, or coming yeah coming yes we are currently uh, recording and playing Curse of Strad. For the next year, I am creating, this is myself, I'm creating uh, a GURP Supers adventure in my own Supers universe. And uh, we plan to eventually, if all things go okay, to create a Kickstarter, Kickstarter for maybe produce some things related to those supers and uh i am getting ready to ship my second book from that universe that uh that was the reason where uh, that i started rpg next 
that's the the Damocles uh, the universe. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what else? And people have other there are other projects. I can say what's my my personal projects, but people are creating stuff and and we hope we can produce it all. Okay. And what is your project? You mentioned a book. Are you already yeah. publishing your book? Yes, I have two books already published. One is uh, a big one, like 400 pages, and the the other is a small uh, prequel, like. And okay. uh, they are they are uh, Damocles Winisu. That's uh, a book that's it's based on a, an adventure that I played with my friends. Prior to joining RPG Next many years ago, and uh, the thing with this book is funny because uh, I was I was playing and uh, in a trip with my wife, we were alone uh, going to a wedding mm -hmm. in a distant place, and they were talking and I, I I started talking oh we are playing this and this happens and then this happens and. She who doesn't like RPGs, who never wanted to play, she okay. said, oh, that's too interesting. You should write a book. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, come on. If she who doesn't like any of this finds it interesting, uh, I'll write this book. And, that's my uh, reference, yeah. <laughs> yes. The book uh, was for one day. was the first book in, in, in sales in Portuguese, science fiction. Yeah. But it was there. One day, but the number one, number one. Oh, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's like a really uh, a possible project. <laughs> How? Yes, if you, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. No, if you if you if you like, the book is on sale on Amazon. Uh, it's in Portuguese only. Uh, I, I tried at the time to translate it to, uh, into English, and um, I I tried to keep the highest standard possible so uh, i tried to hire a translator but uh i couldn't get a translator that uh, would get the book the way i liked it so i kept it in in portuguese for now if there is uh, some translator guys over there listening that no portuguese and no english and perhaps want to translate it give me a call we may talk. <laughs> and uh, this this book is on sale on Amazon, uh, print on demand. That's in Brazil is very expensive. I'm not sure in Mexico if it, if it is that expensive. And on Kindle, that this dirt cheap. It's yeah, that's true. It's, it's a very cheap book uh, in price, but uh, I, from what I've heard, people who read it th find it very interesting. If you want, I can put the the link for you, for people to check it out. Yeah, and no uh, you can share it with us. I'll I'll send it to the stream master, so we can put every all your information, contact, and everything, including your book, and people can go check it out. Yeah, perfect. I'll get it to you, and um, and then uh, this year. I will be, I will be, I hope, finishing writing the second book because I, I, I sent you the link in the, in the WhatsApp. Thank you. And um, I've been writing the book for a very long time now and people are starting to, <laughs> to ask, oh, come on, when's the second <laughs> part? When? And uh, when, when, when? <laughs> It takes time, people. <laughs> it takes time. I already saw that in the chat. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you are not listening how many projects he has. It takes time. <laughs> uh, besides all, all things RPG Next, I, I have my personal life that's very busy. As well. <laughs> I, have, I have a wife, two children, and uh, not children anymore. They are adolescents. And uh, adolescence is a very complicated period. <laughs> then they have a, 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 one of them has a boyfriend, and we have to keep an eye on it. Oh. And so, you should have them playing roles so they don't do all the things. 
Oh, well, my youngest, uh, even when she was very young, she was like eight or nine, if I'm not mistaken. She GM'd an adventure uh, she created. I helped them, I helped her with the rules. But we have it. It's uh, As Aventuras de Daniela. Uh, she's a child uh, role playing, uh, and not role playing, she is a game mastering for adults. And wow. uh, that's very, very funny, very interesting <laughs> because you see the crazy stuff that, <laughs> that happened. <laughs> Well, but that's very good that she's interesting that we've had other yes. uh, people that we know that have children and they play and their children not always are interested in that. And I think that's amazing that at least one of your children is. Mm -hmm. yeah. She she likes it a lot. And uh, uh, the, th the thing is, uh, I just uh, just saw it yesterday. I asked my niece to come here so we could uh, fill the gaps in her cultural backgrounds because she <laughs> haven't seen so many important films from the past and uh, i've showed her highlander the the movie the original one oh, and yeah. oh. she thought oh, this is an interesting movie but it's slow <laughs> and i said oh come on it's another it's another era the thing <laughs> things were different then but you have to Keep keep it in mind. People nowadays want uh, instant, instant, instant stuff, and uh, some things take time. You have to to take your time to get great things. Someone in the chat, uh, you already uh, read, read? Yes. Okay. Just one second. Okay, so they have a question, but they want it in Portuguese. Let me just put it here so I can read it, because I'm kind of blind. Yo, I will respond yeah. in Portuguese. A gente quer saber como foi a jornada do podcast, uh, a criação, as dificuldades e as recompensas que vocês tiveram e continuam tendo. Uh, com relação à criação do podcast do RPG Next, assim, eu não sou o criador. O criador foi o Rafael 47. Mas eh, eu me juntei a eles bem no início, né? E hoje em dia, como eu falei aqui, eu, eu sou atualmente o líder do projeto. Né? As pessoas, cada um faz suas coisas, tem suas dificuldades. E essa função de líder ficou comigo. Dificuldades. Nossa, nossas dificuldades principais hoje em dia são tempo. Entendeu? Todo mundo trabalha, todo mundo tem que fazer, ganhar o seu dia a dia, né? E assim... O tempo é um fator limitante para muitas coisas. Eu gostaria de estar fazendo muito mais coisas, mas o tempo não me permite fazer muito mais coisas. É, a outra coisa que nós precisamos é de apoio, entende? As coisas só funcionam porque as pessoas estão nos apoiando. Então, quanto mais gente nos apoiar, mais coisas nós vamos conseguir fazer. É. Nós, pag nós pagamos um, um editor... E para fazer a edição do podcast, isso custa um dinheiro alto. Os custos de manutenção de servidor, custo de manutenção do site, domínio, impostos, essas coisas todas, tudo isso é grana, né? Então, a gente precisa do apoio financeiro. As pessoas que já nos apoiam, nós agradecemos muito, porque sem vocês nada disso estava acontecendo. E se você tem interesse em ajudar o projeto de alguma forma mais direta, por exemplo, olha, eu, eu sou um, um editor de áudio, de, eu quero treinar, eu quero fazer, eu quero aprender, eu quero me mexer e tal, mostra o que você tem para gente, entendeu? Traz, a gente vai avaliar e vai te dizer, olha, isso aqui para gente tá bom, não, isso aqui para gente não tá bom, é, e a gente tem assim um, um viés de seleção que a gente tenta botar o mais alto que a gente consegue entende? então se por acaso você mandar alguma coisa e a gente não chamar não é pra se sentir ah pô, os caras são snobs, não sei o que não, é que a gente quer tentar fazer o melhor possível o tempo todo e isso coloca uma barreira de entrada relativamente alta mas 
você pode ver que tem pessoas que estão lá, que estão trabalhando e o podcast está saindo. Então, venha nos ajudar, se você tem interesse. Então, é assim, não sei se é a palavra correta, mas é assim como um estadio que a gente, os jovens, podem ter com vocês? É, o RPG Next ele não é uma empresa, uhum. entendeu? Ele, não, ele é um grupo de amigos que se junta para fazer o um negócio funcionar. Entendeu? Então, a gente paga um editor porque a gente quer qualidade. Então, Sim. a gente... Se a pessoa vier, olha, eu quero, por exemplo, eu quero editar o podcast. Tá, aí você não vai ser membro, você vai ser uma pessoa que o projeto vai contratar para fazer um serviço. E aí vai ser, vai ter prazo, vai ter é, qualidade. A gente tem, to tem toda uma organizaçãozinha lá no Trello e coisas assim que... Digo, ó, tem que fazer esse passo, esse passo, esse passo, esse passo. Então, é, é, é uma sequência de muitas coisas. E às vezes as pessoas vêm achando que, ah, eu vou fazer. Quando que você vai fazer? Ah, quando der. Não, não, não é assim. Entendeu? Sim. Então tem, tem, que, tem que ter um, um certo grau de compromisso, um certo grau é. de qualidade. Entendeu? A gente, assim, dentro do, do nosso orçamento, que é pequenininho, a gente tenta fazer o melhor possível com ele. E lembrando que a gente não ganha dinheiro com isso, entendeu? A gente faz isso porque gosta. É... Eu não ganhei até hoje dinheiro nenhum com a RPG Next. Eu só me divirto bastante fazendo, porque é muito divertido. E... Desculpem, eu estava lendo as perguntas se alguma coisa que... Porque foi muito engraçado que eles queriam escutar como se escuta a pergunta em português. Uhum. Então, é isso. Uh, so, that was the hard parts. And what do you think is the rewarding of this? What do you like the most about the, the results that you're getting? As I said before, uh, the things that uh, warm my heart is that uh, when someone who was fighting an illness or was fighting depression or is lonely in a place that he's not familiar with, we, ha we have uh, listeners from Japan that say that, uh, oh, come on, you're the highlight of my week because I work wow. here very hard and it's terrible because no one speaks my language and I, I have this to listen to my language here and and uh, our hopes is that uh, we reach more and more people the best we can because and uh, I would really like to create some content in English I believe our content is very high quality but uh, We need uh, people who are willing to play and role play in English. And uh, when I find those people, I may create something in English. And uh, who knows? Make it work. <laughs> yeah, totally. Your English is, is excellent. So I think it, it's going to work. Yeah, oh, I, I agree you. with her. And, and I hope that you can find people willing to do that, that meet the idea of the project, right? Yes. You're mentioning how important it is not only to say, oh, every now and then, but to really commit to a project that is non-profitable. That yes. is hard to, to get people willing to do that. Yes. We, ha we have had some people who, who appear to be this kind of people. And then when they noticed that they weren't getting any money and we're getting a lot of work to do they just quit it's natural it's uh what uh, people uh, can do with their lives but the 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 thing is uh if you commit to the project if you if you start <laughs> doing it you have a lot of fun and you have great friends and some people that uh, i was talking to you before we started that uh, mm -hmm. I haven't, I have only met face to face, just two members of the project. And uh, uh, I really, really wish uh, we'll ha have some, some gatherings sometime uh, to get to know face to face, everyone hug and everything. But uh, it may take some time. 
because Brazil is a continental country and uh, people who live far away from one another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that it's hard, and especially with the pandemic and everything, it makes yes. it even harder, right? Yes. But it's great that you have the podcast, and that since you started doing it separately in your own house, it hasn't affected, or has it affected the the project somehow? No, because everyone does it from their houses, and uh, it's uh, what you have to do to be able to record you have to have commitment you have to have quality yes and you have to have a good internet connection yes <laughs> and uh, a somewhat good computer with the webcam so those are the requirements in order to play with us but uh, what we most want uh, what many people come to us oh come on i have this idea that I, I wish you would do, that would be awesome, and that. And I say, well, do you have this idea? Do you want to do this idea? Come to us, create your idea. We have our own, our own ideas that yeah. we are creating. So if you have an idea that you think is amazing, come with us and uh, put uh, your money where your mouth is. Start working, <laughs> and maybe your idea will come true. Yeah, that, that, that's true. And it's great that you have that space for others to participate because sometimes uh, when you are starting and you have an idea, you say like, or you think that's impossible. How me alone can do it? But you are mm -hmm. providing that opportunity to others. Yes, there is an opportunity, especially in the texts, because uh, yeah. that group is very active and the the level the level of uh, work required is not as much work as editing and creating a podcast or editing a video or creating things that are more complex so yeah if you want to do something why not come with us and do it together <laughs> yes That's all right well, we are... <laughs> did you sorry did you ever imagine that you will do something like this in your life Not really. It's it's very very funny because um, I have not yet been recognized on the street, but uh, I had I've had people come to my uh, social media accounts and uh, <laughs> things like this, uh, saying, "Oh, I love your work. I love you. Uh, you do things that are amazing." And uh, it's very heartwarming. I have um, in my day to day job, I'm a physician and uh, I treat people for, for illnesses, eye illnesses, eye for the eye okay. uh, mainly. And uh, I receive this kind of comment uh, if I treat them well, if I solve people's problems. But uh, the amazing thing with RPG Next is that this is something I'm doing for fun. Yeah. And uh, I'm changing many people's lives. When you, when you start, when you put your face on the internet and you create something that is interesting, that, that is nice, that people like, you're, you're unknowingly changing many people's lives that you absolutely have no idea. Those emails and messages and tweets and everything, when people say, you have helped me in this or that. Those warm my heart and uh, make us very, very happy. I, I wouldn't have an idea that this would be the case but uh, when I joined. But uh, I still hope to be famous. I hope Hollywood wants to pick my book, <laughs> create a movie. <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? Maybe. You have to finish the second book. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are getting almost to the end of the interview. Oh. Uh, we would like to give you some time to talk to about whatever you want, the specific project you are doing like for yourself. No, I'm sorry. The cat wants to jump in my lap. Um, oh. Or your project or uh, something, an, an announcement or something from RPG Next that you would like to share with us. This is your space. 
part of you or yours. There. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I'll talk first about RPG Next stuff that's coming next year. We will be playing the Curse of Strad campaign. That will be a long campaign. If you have uh, listened to our previous campaigns, it will probably be the longest one because it takes some. It takes years, or, or not. If it's very deadly and we die soon, perhaps not. But uh, we try to make it fun. We, I, I will be create. I will be uh, GMing uh, the GURP Supers adventure with some surprises that I can't say now because it wouldn't be a surprise. No, no, no spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers, no spoilers. <laughs> but uh, you will find it interesting. And um, I hope by the end of next year, if everything goes all right, if I can get the time to write and get things done, to either publish the second book from Dumboclish or at least start the next phase of the campaign with the players. I have, I have been recording... Uh, this I can, I, can, I can say. I have been recording outside of lives some epilogues mm -hmm. for the campaign that we finish on Dumboclish. And uh, you may have some Dumboclish next year. Not lives, but podcasts. Okay, that's amazing. A lot of work because it's that plus the other um, mm -hmm. projects or or parts of the project. That is amazing. It's, def okay. it's definitely a lot of work. It's definitely <laughs> a lot of work. But we hope everything goes according to your expectations. Thank you. Thank you. And better. <laughs> yeah. So oh, we you, really appreciate what you giving us the time to come and, and share about this experience. Me personally, I really like your podcast a lot. I usually listen to, I cannot listen to the full episode, but I listen to 15, 20 minutes in the morning while I take my coffee mm -hmm. and everything. And I really enjoy it. It's very good. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. And so thank you so much for coming, for sharing this with us. We have a more symbolic way to to thank you for coming. We, I will share it with you later, but the viewers can see it on the screen now. We have an acknowledgement for you. Um, well, actually, for RPG Next, yeah, podcast, and that there's a name, right? I don't know if you're looking at this, uh, the stream, but I will share it with you later. Again, thank okay. you so much for coming with us and sharing this time. Yeah, this is our way to thank you for your time. I thank you a lot. It's been very interesting and who knows perhaps you will be the gateway for RPG Next to stream something in English who knows I hope I hope that project can can grow soon. Yeah, yeah. of course okay. for, we and have for some... your yeah 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 for your for your viewers and uh the ones who have been listening and watching us thank you very much uh I hope your day is being wonderful and it continues to be wonderful and you are wonderful people for being here thank you very much mm -hmm. oh, oh we love That's that so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of people saying thanks for your words <laughs> yeah yeah thanks for your words <laughs> i i say it <laughs> and again again thanks for your time i just have some announcements we have a eterno bliet mastering for for Hador. and we have today we have our new uh, project called Perpetua Edero so please uh, we have at 7 p.m. EST so join us please and a uh, that I, I think that's it yeah Fobo no we have well yours on oh, Saturday yeah. for next year we are on uh, we're stopping because of vacations <laughs> <laughs> we have yeah. two special problems on 25 of December and first and 30, uh, 30 December. Yeah, 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 yeah. So 24, sorry, 24. <laughs> 20, 24, 24, yeah. 24. And so the next two weekends, we don't have uh, 
the interviews and we will start next year. So you are closing the year with us again. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs> and Amy. yeah, yeah, help you guys with your project because we 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 want to share this kind of uh, content in our channel because as I say at the middle of the interview, we don't know anything about uh, Brazil and what is happening in in that part of uh, our, uh, our continent. Yeah. And, and sometimes it's difficult to to understand because of the language, no? Yeah. <laughs> but hopefully we can uh, make more uh, uh, connections with you and with other con cre content creators. Thanks you. Thank uh, thanks. you. Thanks again. Thank you so much. And I know that the interview was mainly in English, but in honor of your country of origin. Eu só mente quero dizer que esses já que sejam sempre críticos. Obrigado, galera. Um grande abraço. Feliz Natal!